Our clients didn't really have much of a brief when they came to us. It was surprisingly an open brief, but they sent us a photograph of their artwork and their collectibles. That became an important part of the brief. Part of the concept that we had was to block up the noise of the suburb around it, the harsh coastal conditions that we have here. With respect to the design of the house, we wanted to offer the client a shelter from that, hence the name D-Residence, which relates back to the dunes and the way that one can find protection in those. We wanted the building to have a robust exterior to it so that the client wouldn't have to spend a lot of money later down the track with ongoing maintenance. We also wanted the building to look as new as it could do for as long as it could. It's really important for us to go beyond thinking of building as object and instead to take our clients on a journey having to develop our projects with landscape at the start and at its heart. When you have landscape at the start of the project, you really get the opportunity to structure and envisage spaces being connected to a landscape view and vista. Ultimately what this does is, even though we're working with a compact site, it gives you a greater sense of space, openness and generosity. From the street, the residence presents as quite a strong, centrally structured residence. We're wanting to use that to provide a backdrop to a landscape filter at the front. We decided to go for an endemic landscape character. We have a sanctuary garden space and we've integrated a small swimming pool and lush garden that really does well in this protected environment. Often landscape and interiors are spoken about as being seamless inside outside, but for us and for this project, we've actually done the complete opposite. We've considered the interiors as being very separate to particularly the front exterior and working the interiors as this soft sanctuary space. As one ventures through the entry, we wanted to have the house open up once you stepped inside that space. Walking through something that's quite solid, you come into a void space which is quite open. The thought there was that we wanted the house to have quite a communal aspect to it and a space which the family would come together. And this void space was a way that we could stitch that all together. When our clients came to us, they bought a builder along for the ride. And when we sat down and talked to him about what medium he would like to use, he mentioned concrete. As architects, that was something that was really great for us to hear. We then threaded concrete throughout the house, from the landscape elements through to the void spaces and the balustrades. We really tried to use it as a way to ground the house. We used a mix of light brickwork and dark brickwork to articulate elements of the facade the darker brick to recede elements around the garage and basement level and also around the entry to create a more intimate experience when coming into the home. We really love the range that Brickworks and Austral Bricks offer. We think they bring a really wonderful quality to projects. Its textural quality and variation make for a much more nuanced facade. There is no real need to differentiate the material palette other than to allow the owner's artwork and collection of objects feature within the space. We didn't want to have this competing palette with their artwork. My favourite part of the project is the atrium void space. It's just fun and a little bit adventurous. You can come to the edges and have conversations across the void. I also love how the atrium is connected with windows and apertures. It creates this lighting effect that is baffled and soft. For us, we're really proud of the fact that our clients really love the house. They get a lot of comments from their friends about how warm and friendly it is. We love how our clients have made it their own and given it another layer of colour, joy and vibrancy.
Being a younger client, this was the first house they ever built, and for them to trust an architect to take them on that journey was quite extraordinary. We love that they trusted us to design the house and they believed that we could deliver something that was special for them. 